Hello and welcome to the Grade 12 Fertilizer Industry Task video. These questions can be used as consolidation tasks or at the end of each lesson. Let's start with the questions. Question 1. Supply two reasons why the world needs fertilizers. The following nutrient is found in fertilizers in the form of a nitrous compound. Nitrogen, permanganate, oxygen, phosphorus. Explain why farmers use fertilizers. What are the non-mineral nutrients that plants need to survive? Magnesium is classified as a what type of nutrient needed by plants? Primary nutrient, micronutrient, secondary nutrient, essential nutrient. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are ingredients in fertilizers. They are primary nutrients needed for plant growth. Give three functions of primary nutrients. Question 2. Here is some information for you. Nitrogen is for rapid growth and green leaves. Phosphorus is for strong roots, fruit, and flower development. Potassium protects against cold and dry weather. Your lawn has a well-developed root system. You need a fertilizer that will provide nutrients for rapid growth and green leaves and to protect the lawn during extreme dry conditions. Which one of the following fertilizers, NPK ratio mixtures, will you use on your lawn? A. 7 to 1 to 1. B. 1 to 1 to 5. C. 2 to 5 to 1. D. 8 to 1 to 5. Which NPK ratio mixtures would you use on your lawn after you manage to get rid of worms that damage the root system? A. 7 to 1 to 1. B. 1 to 1 to 5. C. 2 to 5 to 1. D. 8 to 1 to 5. Question 3. Briefly explain the difference between macronutrients and micronutrients. What are the sources of essential nutrients? Which of the following is a source of phosphorus? Potash, bone meal, guano, the atmosphere. What are the functions of potassium in plants? Which of the following is not the function of nitrogen in plants? It forms part of a chlorophyll molecule. It improves the quality of leaves. It is involved in production of oils, sugars, and starch. It forms part of the living cell needed in all proteins and enzymes. Question 4. You are provided with a 10 kilogram bag of fertilizer that carries the following information. NPK 3 is to 1 is to 5 and bracket 26. This is what the bag looks like. Name the primary nutrients given by the symbols NPK, required by all plants to ensure healthy and sturdy growth. What is the meaning of 26 on the bag? Calculate the percentages of NPK fertilizer found in this bag. Question 5. Which of the following reactions gives nitric acid as a product? Ammonium chloride is heated. Catalytic oxidation of ammonia. Calcium hydroxide reacts with ammonium chloride. The final reaction that takes place in the Oswald process. Write a balanced equation for the industrial preparation of ammonia. Which catalyst is used during the reaction of the preparation of ammonia? Discuss, with reference to Le Chatelier's principle, as well as reaction rates, the conditions of temperature and pressure that favor the formation of ammonia. Give reasons why industries use a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 200 atmospheres. Question 6. Why is it necessary to liquefy the ammonia formed in a cooler during the Haber process? 
This flow diagram represents the processes used in the fertilizer industry. Write down the name of the industrial process or processes at X and Z. Write down a balanced equation for the preparation of ammonia sulfate using acid R. Question 7. Give two examples of potash used in fertilizers. Eutrophication in water is caused by algal bloom, a depletion of oxygen concentration, bacterial nitrogen fixation, an increase in large amounts of nutrients in ecosystems. State two effects of over-fertilizing on the environment. State two precautions that can be put into place to prevent eutrophication. Thank you, grade 12s. This is the end of the tasks on the fertilizer industry. If you had any problems with these questions, the answers can be found in the series guide on www.mindsearch.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.